and happy Friday. We've got a very special guest, guest with us today, South Alabama head coach Kane Womack. Coach, we're happy to have you. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, glad to uh, glad to be here with you guys. Exciting to be in the studio, and uh, this is great. Absolutely. Well, Coach, first things first, you're four and one on the season. You're in first place in Sun Belt West. There's a lot of buzz and excitement around your team right now. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, obviously exciting to uh, coming out of a bye week to be in the position we are in. Um, and uh, and we feel like, you know, there's some momentum to be capitalized on. Exciting to, to be in, you know, two back to back home games that are coming up uh, just because we really feel like this community is starting to rally around our football team and uh, the support that we expect to see inside the stadium and some of those things I think is really great. What, what's fun about being the head coach at South Alabama right now is we're we're creating traditions and experiences um, with a new on-campus stadium that will be held for years to come and fans are a part of that. Absolutely. So a lot of people don't know your story. Your father was a um, college football coach and right. you've played at Arkansas and Southern Miss. So it's in your blood. So what does the game of football mean to you? I mean, it's it's part of your life each and every day, but you've grown up with it. So tell yeah. me about that. Well, I did. I, I mean, I grew up in this profession. My dad had a tremendous 38 year career, mainly as a defense coordinator in, in the SEC. And, and uh, you know, I, I grew up seeing all these great teams and great defenses and uh, you know, being in the locker room and on the sideline, and, and it certainly shaped uh, a lot of, of, of my upbringing. Um, but also, you know, you, you get a feel for the reward and the consequence of winning and losing uh, in, in college football and how that affects, you know, families and communities and universities and all those things. Um, and within that, right, just understanding uh, what that means to hold the weight of being a head football coach and also uh, what it means to, to develop these young men both on and off the field. Um, and uh, it's a pretty exciting time to be able to do that right now here at South. Absolutely. So you're pretty young for a D1 head football coach, but age doesn't mean that you're inexperienced. You've got plenty of that. You've coached at six other places before you got to South. So tell me a little bit about what you learned at each place, kind of on that journey to getting where you are. Well, I will say, I mean, I think, um, you know, my, my dad being in this profession and growing up in this profession certainly has given me an opportunity and when those opportunities came I was prepared for them you know I've wanted to be a, a college head football coach since I was six years old in fact October this is some of my favorite time of year because when I was six I got to dress up for Halloween uh, as a football coach my mom wrote coach on my back of my shirt and I got my whistle on my hat um, and from that point forward I really saw myself through the lens of a head coach and so even in the years that I wasn't you know officially coaching you know I was trying to get that experience and and gain some of that wisdom and knowledge and then certainly the experiences I've had with my dad you know every place that you go and every team that you're on you learn new things sometimes you learn what to do sometimes you learn what not to do mm -hmm. um, and all that culminates into the opportunity that that I've been given here and what I want to do with this program absolutely I love that so this weekend, we're playing Louisiana Monroe. It's homecoming. It's going to be on NFL Network. There's a lot of hype. I know you want to fill that stadium. Tell us how important this matchup is. How do we match up? Well, you know, as you start to have success, right, the next game is always going to be the most important one. Um, and, uh, and, and certainly uh, the momentum that we've carried over these first five games uh, and being on the road uh, uh, and then a bye week, obviously I think our fans are excited to get back inside Hancock-Whitney Stadium. Homecoming is a really unique thing and I've experienced it at a lot of different places for many years. Um, but you get to kind of acknowledge um, and honor those that have come before you um, and also get to peer into, into your future and, and what's ahead of us. And that's probably one of the most exciting things about our football program is our best days are ahead of us and to know that our fans get a chance to experience that inside Hancock Whitney Stadium um, tailgating uh, having those experiences surrounded with homecoming um, is, a, is a really unique opportunity and one that I hope we all take advantage of on Saturday absolutely absolutely I know you're excited for that one I have a question about like your routine on game day or do you do the same thing every Saturday are you superstitious is there like a certain thing that you do to get ready well you know I think it really is important especially when you're when you get into the rhythm of a season you want to have certain um, 
uh, routine for your players, right? And there's certain things that we do. Uh, we try not to stay, you know, this, uh, you know, macho locked in for, for eight hours prior to a game, right? There's times where we want to lock in and we want to ease back out. And so uh, there's good rhythms uh, to what we're doing, but ultimately I, I'm not really a big superstitious guy. Um, you know, I, I think ultimately it comes down to guys uh, being able to execute on game day. And so certain pieces of that um, mean building consistency in your program. And yet at the same time, we don't want our guys to be overly tight as we get ready to uh, to compete at a high level. So you came back to South after being the defensive coordinator in 2016 and 2017. When you got that call that they wanted you to come back, what was running through your head? What were you feeling? You know, it was a pretty exciting moment, obviously, for, for me and my family. And um, when, when we were here before, um, we fell in love with the city of Mobile. Um, and this place just has such a great um, history and tradition, and, and, and we live in such an awesome, diverse city. And I feel like football can be a great unifier, right, and an opportunity for this community to to rally around our, our players and program and I knew what the opportunity would be uh, in terms of on-field success and off-field success here at South Alabama. So when I when that opportunity arose, um, obviously Melissa and I had decided long ago um, whenever that opportunity came we were going to jump at it um, and we were just really fortunate for it to happen uh, at, at, in such a quick time. You know. Well thank you so much coach. We appreciate you so much for being here and good luck this weekend. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. And go Jags. Go Jags.